Today, we are going over how to do subcutaneous injections with your peptides. Now, I've got with me, I've got two things here. I've got NAD+, which NAD+, is te technically not a peptide. And I've also got tessamorelin. Now, this one is a growth hormone-releasing peptide. All right, so first and foremost, we know that we have to clean these guys. Right here is an alcohol swab. The light has kind of kind of flushed it, washed it out a bit, but we have it right here. So what we're going to do, we're going to open it up and we are going to scrub the hub. Boom. And I'm going to do that for both of these medications. Ta-da. Now, we also have our insulin syringes. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to draw up the recommended or my prescribed dose of each medication. So for my tessamorelin, I am doing roughly 10 units on an insulin syringe. This puts me at roughly about 500 micrograms of it. And that's based on that concentration. And for the NAD+, plus, this is 100 milligrams per ml. So I'm going to pull up 25 units or 0 0.25 mls, and that will be roughly 25 milligrams. Now for the fun part. So you got another alcohol pad, or you could use the same one if it's still saturated with enough alcohol. What we're going to do is we're going to identify a place on our abdomen, on our torso, that we're going to inject it with. So first thing I'm going to do is clean the area off. I'm going to pinch a little bit of body fat, and then I'm going to insert the syringe and slowly inject it. Now, when you deal with NAD, NAD burns. I'm not even going to lie. NAD tends to sting, so I inject it pretty darn slow. With the tessamorelin, tessamorelin doesn't burn. You can just dump it right in. So I'm going to find a place on my, my stomach, clean it, and then I'll inject. So watch this. Check it out. And easy as that. Thanks for watching. Hope you found this video helpful. Give us a subscribe to find out more about TRT, men's health, peptides, and all that fun stuff. Thanks.